What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the Boolean or also known as logical operators. Now this is the code we used in my last tutorial where I showed you guys how to use the comparison operators. I'm going to continue using this code just to show you how the logical or Boolean operators work. Now here we declared a variable which we called red and it has an integer value of 9, right? Down here we started an if statement, right? We said if red is equal to 10, then we're going to print that yes, otherwise we're going to print that no, right? So what if we want to have more than one test in here? We can do that. So after the 10 here, we can hit space and we can use the Boolean or logical operators to do it. Now the first one I'm going to show you is called the AND. To, uh, to start the AND, you have to use two of these symbols here, the AND symbols, right? Hit space. Now we got to give another condition to test. So we're going to say red, right? And you can do whatever you want. I'm going to say red is greater than, let's say, 1. So this is the way the AND operator works here. So red has to be equal to 10 and red has to be greater than 1 for it to be true. So I'm going to press play here. It printed out no, right? Because red is not equal to 10, but it is greater than 1. So let's make red equal to 10, right? So let's hit play again. It printed out yes. Again, the AND operator, both things you test have to be true for it to be true, right? So again, we're testing multiple conditions here. The, the next uh, logical operator I'm going to show you, it's called the OR, right? And it's going to use two of these vertical pole symbols here. You can find these symbols on your keyboard. It's normally on top of your backslash. You normally have to hit shift or control and then press the backslash button and this uh, symbol will appear. It's this is called the vertical pole. You need two of these vertical poles to create an OR here. So now, the way the OR works, it's either OR. So if red is equal to 10, it's going to be true. Or if, uh, if uh, red is greater than 1, it's going to be true. One of them have to be true, or if both are true, it's still going to be true. So as long as one is true, then this is true. So let's test it out. I'm going to hit play here. And it printed out yes, right? So let's make the first one false, right? Let's make this equal to 9 because we know red is 10 is not equal to 9 so now red is equal to 9 here right so now it's testing whether or not red is equal to 9 which is not red is equal to 10 up here right and uh, it's still gonna print out uh, yes because it's an or right we're using the or because and red is greater than 1 so it's still gonna print out as true and it's still gonna print out yes so I'm gonna hit play here and I printed out yes because the first test wasn't true but it's either or. If one of them are true, then it's going to still print out yes. Now let's make them both false right here. So let's make this one the other way around. Let's make this a less than symbol. So now both of them are false, so it should print out false. Let's hit play. And it printed out no, because neither one of them were true. So now the final one I'm going to show you is called the not logical operator. So we're going to delete this here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enclose this in a parenthesis. So we're going to add parentheses in front of the red here, right? And we're going to add a parentheses behind the one here, right? And we're going to add this exclamation point in front of this parentheses here. So this is the not logical operator. As long as you uh, add this next to a parentheses and your, whatever condition you have within the parentheses, it, it inverts it, right? So if the if whatever is in here is true, then adding this is going to make it false automatically. So we can say uh, red is less than one, right? Which is false. But since we added this not symbol in front of this, it automatically makes it true. So again, let's let's test it out, right? So let's hit space a couple of times. I'm going to add these vertical poles again, the or two of them. So and again. Either one have to be true for it to be true, right? This is the logical or. But if we use this not symbol here, this would make this true because this was a false originally. So it's going to make this true. So it's going to do the opposite. So I'm going to hit play. And I print that out. Yes, because red is, is basically not less than one. But since we added this exclamation point and, and close this test in a parentheses, it, it inverted it. So if this was the other way around, Right? Let's make this greater than. We know that red is greater than 10, but since we use this not symbol here, it's going to make it false. So let's hit play and print it out. No. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.